It is a somber night in the city of Charlotte and across our state. Families, friends, and everyone who does or ever has worn blue is still processing this afternoon's horrific events. Tonight, police are questioning two people who were inside a home where U.S. Marshals tried to serve a warrant. By the time it was all over, eight members of law enforcement were shot, four of them fatally. Now, news within the last 15 minutes that a CMPD officer has died from his injury, so that's why that number is now up to four. It happened here at a home on Galway Drive in the eastern part of the city. New tonight, WXI 12's Kara Peters spoke with neighbors in that community who still cannot believe what they saw and what they heard, but we want to begin with Devontae McKenneth live at Atrium Health Carolina's Medical Center. Devontae, good evening. Kenny, Christine, good evening to you both. Yeah, those four officers are here at the hospital right now in Charlotte. In fact, when we arrived at the hospital, I want to say less than an hour ago, we saw cruiser after cruiser here in support of the families impacted by tonight's event. I want to show you some video from that. Again, you can see that cruiser, the amount of cruisers right there at the entrance of the hospital. Uh, the police chief says three of the officers here tonight are Charlotte Mecklenburg police officers and one is with another agency. Three officers who were killed were all with the U.S. Marshals Task Force. And again, late news tonight, we have just learned that a CMPD officer has died. I want to take you to the scene from earlier this, earlier this afternoon. Everything started around 1.30 today, and that task force was trying to serve a warrant for a charge of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. When officers approached that suspect, police say that's when shots were fired at officers. So then officers then pulled back killing that suspect. The task force then called for backup, bringing in CMPD officers for help. As officers approached the suspect, police say two people inside the house started shooting at officers, which then led to that standoff. That's when the four CMPD officers were shot. Police are now questioning those two people inside the home, and the chiefs called this shooting a tragic day for the city of Charlotte and for the profession of law enforcement. And this is a good example of what we try to tell people every single day that when we put on this uniform that we don't have any guarantees that we'll return home. But yet we have a lot of great men and women across this entire country that do it every single day to make sure that you're safe in your communities. And back out here live once again, late news that that CMPD officer, one of the CMPD officers who were uh, hit today by that gunfire has since died. That officer has been identified as Officer Joshua Iyer. The police chief says the three other officers who are here at the hospital continued their recovery process tonight. And a completely different scene at this hour. Calm out here and still very much calm compared to what we saw earlier today in the neighborhood where this happened. That's where we find our care 